whilst we're cleaning up the workshop, we decided to take a couple hours to finalize and finish off the uh, level three climb concept that we had, uh, just to prove to ourselves that it works really. Um, so this is it. Uh, the process is we will drive up, uh, we'll raise the hooks, we will then tip the robot using this lead screw at the back, um, and then hook on to the lower bar, and then we will climb up. We would theoretically put our intake out to shift our center of gravity forwards and tip the robot, and then we will extend up the second lot of hooks, grab onto the top bar, and then climb all the way through. Um, and so that we will demonstrate now. So first off, we will drive up to the submersible like this, and then we will push the lead screw down to pivot the robot up. So bear with me a second. And then we bring the lead screw down. Okay. Then we will bring the first stage down to lift our robot up. Then we would push our intake forwards that way to shift our center of gravity. Okay, the bars are a little bit too large. We couldn't really get the proper imperial size here in Australia. So we've got what we've got. We would then have our secondary hooks drop down alongside. Uh oh. Alongside our first ones. And so that arm going out would shift the CG forwards. And so then when we extend, we're on the other side and we can shift back. And then we pull our secondary hooks back down again. Oh God, this tight press fit. Oh. Pull our secondary hooks back down again, lifting the robot up. This angle on the front helps to bring us around the bar. And we clear it just like that. <laughs> um, as you can tell, this is all a little bit janky. Um, we would love to have cut some stuff down to size, but we didn't want to do that just due to the fact of we want to reuse it next year and next year we might not want stuff cut down. Um, but yeah, in theory, this works great. Also, uh, make sure you pick a string that doesn't have a breaking strength of like half a pound. I'm gonna cry. Ah. Uh...